Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is what? Fun. Nah, it's a way of life. Give it the program, man. <laughs> We're headed back out to our trap out. <coughs> check the progress. It's really early to be coming back out here, but we were kind of in this direction, so we're stopping by to see. We set it up Thursday. This is Sunday, and when we get there, I'll show you what we got. All right, today is Sunday. We set this up on Thursday, and then we had a breach in our security on Thursday. So legitimately, we could call this a Friday setup. So Saturday, Sunday, we've only been really two days. I, I think they're still blocked out. I don't see where they're going in. Uh, there's enough of them on the outside of the screen. It looks like they're not getting back in. But they don't seem to be going to the box either, so I don't know. I don't see where they're getting anywhere. anywhere. Oh yeah, I do. I just saw one go in. Well, oh, crud. I got a silicone gun though. Fixing to fix them up again. So wow. there's three wasted days. Like I said, these things are the hardest part is monitoring them because they will, if there's any way to get back in, they'll find it. Well, I'm glad we made the trip over today. This has been a challenging one. This is three or four days now of non-productivity because these suckers keep persisting and getting past our blockades there so these cracks are sufficiently filled with silicone and with filter material and if they get past that I'm gonna borrow a hand grenade and blow this tree up <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow I'm glad we stopped by because if we didn't we'd have showed up in a in a week expecting to collect bees and we'd have been sadly mistaken so now they're blocked out again for the third or fourth time now <laughs> and hopefully they do do what they're supposed to this time <laughs> this is the most challenging trap out we've ever done i think i don't think we've ever had one breached that many times but trees are tricky so i'll update you again once we've got them out this is update of week number two on this trap out and I'm starting from scratch by now they should all be in the box but I showed up today and found them uh, going through another entrance so I screened off the whole bottom of the tree and around the side and it's, it's like like I say it's like starting from scratch again because I've been getting in and out this whole time so the hive has still been growing and thriving so we're starting from the beginning all over again and like i said this is one of the challenges with a trap out if they can get around what you put up you're not going to trap them out yeah i can open it the lids sitting upside down this is trap out day number this is friday i got them fully locked out sunday So six, eight, five days. Yeah. Five days and hanging out with the the frog toad, helping me with. Oh, I screwed. Why don't you let me film while you do that? I forgot I screwed that lid on. I need a uh, five sixteenths bit. Now, see like this girl here, how how light brown she is. Uh -huh. Light brown. Then you got the dark dark brown ones like this yeah. guy right here. That's a drone. Or just no, younger? Just an older bee. Older bee, okay. Is it on the run? Yeah, it's right this See some of them coming out of it. Oh no. Oh. oh look at that. They moved over yeah, to the other to the, the next tree. tree. Dang, yeah. They are right up inside there, huh? They have totally bypassed our trap and moved into the next tree. 
<laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, there are so many holes in this tree, there's no way. Look up the tree. Yeah, I'm seeing. There's a hole at every Look dead Look right in the bowl. Look at the holes right there in that thing. Good grief. Can you see this too? Yeah, Woodpeckers. Woodpecker yeah. holes. Hey, you can hear them up there now. Yeah. There ain't no way. I can't trap, I can't trap these out. They're not. I have to say, I have never given up on a trap out, but this is one that I am going to give up on. All these in here are dead. Yeah. Well, I've trapped them out of the old hive. Now they've gone and made them a new one. And I don't think I'm going to be able to conquer it looking at, the, looking at that section of the tree. Cause that section I want to back up a little bit here and just show folks how big this tree actually is. That tree has more holes in it than the first one. What you think, the frog toad plan of action? <laughs> well, you know, I'd normally say take the tree down, but two problems. It's a beautiful tree. Yeah, they're not about to take it down. And it's uh, leaning right over that house, so. The other thing I'm looking, check out, look above. You see the bowls up above? Uh -huh. There's nobody flying no. out of those bowls. So maybe if you want to try and trap them in the second crack there, is it okay to go in the yard? Yeah, there's, so a, gate, there's a gate right there. Coming out on this side. Well, I'm just worried about, you know how far this is from home, I'm just worried about spending any more time on this thing and them just moving on to another hole. Because that's all they've done here, they've just moved up and found another hole. A swarm? Without a queen, they shouldn't even Yeah, this is, we're, this is right down to the, just to bear what's left of the hive. These are all freshly hatched bees with peach fuzz trying to crawl up this wire to come out. All the older bees are already out it looks like. Yeah. This one here. I, uh, I did what they wanted. Trapped them out of this tree. They are out of this tree other than the few babies hatching and climbing out. And uh, in that regard, it was a success. It took less than a week once I got them finally fully blocked off. However, instead of going to my trap, they moved next door and went in uh, the next tree. So, failure. Starting all over again. The lesson I'm taking away from this is anytime I do a trap out from now on, I'm going to survey the area and look for anything else that they could possibly go to besides my bait box. Yeah, I'm going to take that less of the way myself. Because that really stinks. Yeah, because I suppose if the, the thought tough, about it, could have could have gone ahead and covered that up pretty easy before we put the box in, huh? Yeah, yeah, if I had, if I had ever even crossed my mind, I could have just covered both trees, but, you know, this is a half hour from home. This is my fourth or fifth trip, trip over here and thankfully I've had other work in this area so it hadn't been too terribly inconvenient but it's still out of the way.